Number two, so the, so here's how I'm thinking about it, kind of in a traditional sense. Um, we've got uh, Anne, you as what I'm calling really are uh, almost like a marketing officer in in your mm -hmm. role. Uh, but our marketing is going to be pure social media. So uh, and yeah. I'm really, you're going to be, and who knows, maybe down the road we'll do something different. But I think we're going to lean in with social media, LinkedIn primarily. I don't see another, another uh, any other real social channels that at this point. Um, Jenny is responsible. Well, maybe, yeah, oh, go ahead. Maybe Anne. you later on. Yeah, at, at some point we may it's find that there are other, other platforms that make sense for us to be on. But um, I, th I think we need to be, you know, it's like, it's like everything, right? We want to pick and choose the channels that we think we're, where people will view us professionally. And it's part of the marketplace we're going after, which is primarily small and medium-sized businesses. We're not that interested. In fact, I'm very not interested in big corporations at this point. Um, because we don't have, we'll have to have like 10 lawyers on staff if we start to do contracts with big corporations. So we don't need that. Yeah. So, so uh, let me just do quick introductions and roles and then we'll talk about Path Forward. So, um, uh, and as kind of our social media officer, marketing officer, um, mm -hmm. Jenny is uh, our, our financial vice president of finance and right hand Yay. person and keeps me out of trouble on a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, and then Nanda is our is going to be our sales officer, and mm -hmm. in so the way I'm I'm kind of looking at this at a very high level, is that uh, and, and all of us together are working on awareness and developing our brand effort. Nanda is going to be very targeted on as we develop awareness. How does that result in a lead? Right, qualifying a lead. I don't expect Nanda you to be able to sell everything, um, but at the very least, we can start to qualify. This is an appropriate customer to make the investment of time and energy in. You know, so they, you know, typical sales stuff of you know, is there a compelling reason for them to buy our product? Is the person we're talking to a decision maker or an influencer? Uh, and do they have budget? And if the answer to all three of those is yes, then we absolutely want to spend time with them. Yeah. If it's not yes, then we need to talk about it. Um, what are we going to do? And then uh, my role is to try and, I, I think, to build out the whole program that we're trying to accomplish. So um, the way we're looking at it right now is, you know, Transform CX is going to be pretty much what the name implies. We, we are looking to become a company that helps small and medium companies transform their customer experience journey to result in more revenue, whether that's mm. whether that's new customers or keeping their old customers, um, lowering the cost to serve those customers because if people don't have service calls and other things, they're generally happier and they buy more. Yeah. And three, reducing customer and employee churn by making the work easier. So that's the that's a very high level goal, you know. And underneath the covers to do that, it's all about people, process information and technology. So we're not, we're really going to be a consulting and services company. Um, we will have some technology, but we're not developing technology. We're gonna resell other people's technology, if okay. that makes sense. Makes sense. So, so for example, uh, you know, a customer may come to us and say, uh, what are the tools that I should have in place to enable, you know, to enable uh, a good customer experience and a good employee experience? And depending on the customer, we did some uh, discovery um, consulting work and come back and say, okay, Mr. Customer, we would recommend Salesforce, for example. <laughs> then they would go buy Salesforce. We, we wouldn't make any money off that. Or we actually have a group of products with, a, with another company called Johnson 360 that they have uh, customer facing tools, like one they call Engage 360, which is around like a customer loyalty program. Now, we would resell that product. Um, and what I mean by that is that we would sell it as the Johnson 360, or what they call Engage 360 product. The customer would buy it through us 
as at a retail price and we would pay for it to the vendor at a wholesale price. Okay. So it's kind of a classic reselling situation. Mm -hmm. So as, as I look forward into the business, the revenue streams that I see are our direct business, which could be things like outsourcing, uh, like the work that we've done for so many years with the call centers and back office support and customer experience, uh, and even some of the project management work we've been doing over the last two years now, Jenny, right? Where we're um, providing project managers to third party companies. Uh, that's one source of revenue. I call that the direct transform CX revenue. Then we have reseller revenue, which would be the Johnson 360 products. So they have a, a slate of products, uh, healthcare, uh, customer loyalty that they would like us to sell and we would like us to sell because we think it can be a profitable product for us. And then the third category of revenue is going to be um, in a completely different area and maybe not directly related to this, but we're, we're getting into a project with a company that's, that's providing um, support for autistic children. Uh, so this is a huge problem, as you're probably aware, around the world, right? Children, more and more, one out of every 58 children now is diagnosed with some degree of autism. So here in the U.S., um, finally, there's uh, insurance money available to provide what they call behavioral therapy treatment for these children. So we're, we're going to partner with a company called Aurora, and work with nonprofit groups to de deliver autistic therapy treatment to children in the same community setting of their neighborhood, right? So in other words, instead of taking them out of their schools, allowing, these pro allowing the children to be um, in, in their community, in their schools, getting the, the treatment they need to be able to get, effectively socialize and engage. So there's really, so there's three revenue streams that I'm, I'm looking at, the first two are the ones for the three of us on this call to be focused on, which is direct transform CX and reselling opportunities for Johnson 360. So what I think on the marketing side, Anne, is, you know, we're, we're going to have to kind of think about our key messages for both, right? The good news is Johnson's got their own stuff and we can just point to them. We don't need okay. to do we don't need to do so yeah. if you go to johnson it's spelled j-o-h-n-s-e-n 360.com okay. and they're actually headquartered in manila oh they are that's yeah. nice yeah it's um they've been selling for about 10 years they've been you know um, developing technology projects products in the augmented and virtual reality space and customer uh, user interface space. And oh, then yeah, on. Yeah. Yep. And then on the, and then Nanda in your role doing the, the sales stuff and, I, and Nanda did some uh, research uh, last week, leveraging some of the LinkedIn uh, resources. And Nanda, I think he came back with a really <laughs> good but scary recommendation right which is the the, the big part of what we're doing is um, the, the the thing is we we i mean people do not know about transform cx they know tim so tim <laughs> has to be the face of the company we need to market him first so we are going to get people that's what i feel <laughs> i think that's so scary CX but, really but that's, but that's I mean, your that's profile is a good one we need to be promoting that. You're exactly. the poster. We're going to be getting whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, it will I happen appreciate. soon, I guess. Well, so we have Let's the, the balancing. That was Jenny, right? The Hawaiian shirt uh, idea sounds good. New oh, yeah. Photos. It has been in paper, actually. <laughs> New photos <laughs> for the website. That, that needs to be done. And for your profile. It so that needs to be time. done. I know that. Yeah, yeah, so, I, I, yeah. <laughs> so now that so you, we need it, you should buy more of that, you know. Yeah, you have to well, bring uh, us <laughs> into your shop because we have to make sure that you buy what we like. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I don't. I don't have enough already. I need more. Yeah. So for Anne, Anne, and Amanda, you don't know this, but for since March of last year, every day for every meeting I was on, I was in Aloha shirts. So it was. It became kind of an interesting thing. I actually had a prize. I gave uh, uh, on this one big project we had. I had a prize of a hundred dollars for the first person to catch me repeating a shirt. Wow. <laughs> So one of the engineers was doing screen screenshots on each meeting, and then he wrote a piece of software to map them. Wow, smart. Yeah, I don't know if it was yeah. smart. I, t I, I gave him a hard time. I said, you have too much time on your hands. You so, need to buy um, more shirts and have yourself photographed for the website. Well, I think that's true. I do think I need to do some uh, uh, headshots. That would be a good thing. But, but I guess the big point is... Um, I think, Nanda, to your point, we need to create that branding. Um, I do think we need to start positioning uh, the, the products that we're talking about in this. And I think that's going to take several sessions, obviously. So one of the things that I wanted to do, and I think Jenny had a really good idea, is that we should meet every week. Um, this week and next week, we'll do a slightly different time, but we can move it back to the earlier time, uh, starting the week of the 21st. But um you know we need to get into a regular um, cadence of work activity the i think the opportunity is is quite significant and then i think nanda you and i need to start thinking about what our target clients are um okay you know even if we're just making it up the first dozen of them right that, that that's all okay because that's part of the exercise of developing the motion to your point, Anne, the, you know, it's sometimes it's not so much how good the first effort is, it's the, the action of doing it that's part of it. So I was going to suggest um, as a daily exercise, if you could record a one to two minute um, clip, just from the top of your head, some professional advice or best practices, and then we can pull that together into some kind of list article. So just advice for the number one. Yeah. Uh, yes. adv advice number one, don't start your own company. No, I'm kidding. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> That's gold. That's a golden nugget. Yeah, but yeah, it, um, it, it doesn't have to be a video all the time. It can be, you know, it can be part of our collection. Just in, yeah. So, um, well, just... and yeah, and I think that's Do a great idea. And also, if it makes sense, and how about doing things like we read an article and we can post, repost the article with a voiceover yeah. on it or those types of things, um, offering an opinion about it. Um, mm -hmm. Because so much you is... Can that, you can send me that clip. I can transcribe it. I have a software for that and we can post it as your comment when we reshare the article. Okay, good, good. Yeah. And, <clears throat> And then in the short time, we've got a little bit of a problem because I'm kind of balancing between two bosses here. So on the T-Tech side, they also want me to be doing a lot more blogging and voiceovers. But actually, there's a benefit to that, right? Because it's still me. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm fine with that. I just make sure that on our, our blogs and our comments, I'm identifying myself that these are my personal comments. On the T-Tech ones, they may be comments that are related to, you know, the T-Tech marketing direction, yeah. which there's a little bit of overlap, but that's because, you know, I've been working there for six years and they, they're starting to follow me a little bit. Yeah. Um, you, it's yeah. your visibility. But, but in their policy, it was specific that if you would, you know, if you're going to be maintaining your own personal social media platforms, that you have to also be specific that it's your own, right? That's correct. Right. I can't speak and nor try to reference them. Clearly on my profile, it says that I'm a partner there, but, you know, that's fine. And they know about the company, right? There's no secret here. Like, yeah. uh, you know. Um, yeah. And, and in fact, we're not going to be selling you. We'll be selling the company. It's just that correct. you're just part of it. In right. But that's, that's <laughs> what makes the value of the company. Because well, it's the true. I mean, and more and more, and even big companies, it's you're hiring the who as much as the what, yeah. right? You're, hi you're hiring someone you trust or a company you trust and companies you trust because of the people that work for them. Not, exactly. I mean, you know. Not because anyway. of the services they offer. Correct, correct. 
So, so I think just on a go forward basis, and and I think just to make this a a, a good call. So, and I think I like your idea. I'll start doing daily things, even if they're not great. Just get in the exercise of doing them. And that's um, going to I be think, easy for you. It's it, it's going to come out naturally because you're just you yeah. know, recording something while you're walking or while you're shopping around. Yeah, and it, I don't have a problem with doing those things. That's I'm not one of those people who's like gun shy about the, the camera. I don't even look at them after I do it. I just record it and <laughs> be done with it. Um, whereas some people have to edit it over and over and over again. I'm not that person. Um, and I think, Nanda, for you and I, I think we need to probably set up a meeting to talk about the ideal customer profile, or at least our first version of it. And then um, we yeah. can do a... Uh, so one thing we have to do with, with Nanda's... Uh, and I think I want you to help Nanda get Nanda's LinkedIn profile as our, uh, as our chief sales officer set up. And I think you have a profile, Nanda, but we want to augment it. Yeah. And then I also... If we have to, I think I need to upgrade your, your uh, subscription to LinkedIn to allow you to do the searches that we're talking about. Yeah. So, yeah. Because there's okay, different okay. levels that, you know, allow for a certain level of sales activity. Um, and then, Jenny, you and I have uh, some uh, finance stuff to take a look at. Um, I, had a, I had a couple of calls earlier on this, on that topic. So. Um, but so does this make sense? So we're going to do these once a week going forward and I'm going to be trying to send you something, at least something every day and I'll copy everybody on what I send to everybody. And then Nanda, you and I'll work on the ideal customer profile. I'll put together kind of what I think, uh, the elements of that profile are their rough size, revenue size, location mm -hmm. type of businesses. If that, if, okay. and then we can use that as to start to frame up a more targeted program. And also maybe yeah. Nanda, you know, um, Anne and you should get more, um, not really intimate, but you get more yes, chat. Yes, we'll do that. Yeah. Because just, yes, I yeah, when we get the groove, yeah. just wait until we get the groove, Tim. <laughs> and oh. when we get it, you yes. get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're wearing the mask. Maybe someone's there. Well, there's okay. some other people. Okay. Shut up. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. I'm trying to I'm trying to be polo, you know polite to other people. Um, all right, so I think that I think that's a good path forward. And uh, Aunt, uh, Jenny, I'll look for your help to book the meeting. So we'll do the same time next week as today, and then starting the 23rd, we'll be back on the other time. Okay. Alrighty, okay. guys, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Sorry, this had to get bounced around so many times. No problem. Okay. See you next week. Thank you. We'll get in touch. Okay. Yep. Bye, bye. bye. Thank you. Get bye bye. Quiet shirt. Quiet shirt. Bye bye. It's just a it's just a blue t-shirt right now. Bye bye. For now. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye everyone. Bye Jen. <laughs> <laughs>